Welcome to the next Cloud Blueprint video. In this video, we are going to be looking at split testing. Uh, so before I go on about how you can get more subscribers than anyone else in your industry, I have something important to say. This is one of the more advanced topics in the course. So if you're a beginner, please skip this video and come back to it later. I don't want to overwhelm you with all of these technical items. Even though this is fairly simple to implement, I'd rather you started seeing results first so that you know this strategy really works for you and you convinces you that you can make money online and then you can come back to more advanced topics like this and learn how to make even more money. To everyone still with us, this video is going to look at split testing. Split testing is creating slightly different variations of your page design to see which one converts better. Continual split testing allows you to create a high converting landing page that converts more visitors into subscribers. So you could have one page that's uh, you could have a home page where you're getting opt-ins, you could duplicate that, change a few words in the header and, and see which one convinces more people to give you their email address. With some simple tweaks, I found changes that converted twice as many visitors. So that's the difference between getting 20 subscribers for every visitors who go to my site or 40 subscribers for every 100 visitors. In the early stage, it's much easier to get to double your conversion rate than it is to double the amount of traffic you can send to that page. I'm going to first of all show you how to install analytics software and then talk about two tools you can use for split testing. The first tool I'll look at is Google's own Google Website Optimizer and I'll also look at another tool called Visual Website Optimizer. After this I'm going to highlight some of the most important page elements you should be split testing. Okay so here we are on getclicky.com this is the analytics software that I use. I am a fan of Google Analytics but what I love about Clicky besides the fact that it's free is that it's real time so I don't have to wait a day to see how many visitors I receive to my website with Get Clicky it has all of these advantages over like of Google Analytics and other stats tracking companies out there so I was a big Google fan but now I use Get Clicky it's totally free to click on the register now button and you can sign up and here's uh, an example of one of my sites cloudniche.com I can see traffic to it for the last seven days 200 visitors, 300 actions average time on site was four minutes I can see some of the traffic sources that send traffic to it, key phrases, countries where people came from, all of this great information. So what you want to do is to be able to get this kind of information on your site, you will click on preferences here and then you will click on tracking code. Once you click on that, you will get some tracking code that you need to copy. If you're using a static HTML template, just copy that tracking code and put it into your site. If you're using Optimize Press and WordPress, I'm going to quickly show you what to do. So what I didn't tell you in the last time I looked at Optimize Press is that on the left here of your WordPress login, you can select, you can see the basically the core back end of Optimize Press and not just on a page per page basis. So you'll be able to see video tutorials and PDF guides of how to create squeeze pages, sales pages, launch. I not only stopped selling my product because these guys had a better solution, but the support they have for this product is insane. So I'm just going to go to the general settings here and you can do cool things like upload your logo or edit tracking code or edit the text that's in your site footer or edit the page that you want to edit the pages you want to link to from your squeeze page and what you'll do with that get clicky code you just on the general settings tab here you just copy into this footer tracking codes tab paste it in there save your changes and that's it you'll be able to go to get clicky now it's real time and start seeing visitors landing on your website and where they're coming from and what they're doing so now we're going to look at the split testing side of things and this is about how you get more subscribers per the number of visitors that land on your website so we've seen the simple attraction secrets.com homepage squeeze page in another video in this example I'm just creating a quick variation to show you what I'm talking about so I'll just go to pages on the left of WordPress click add new then I'll change my template to one of the squeeze pages I want to use. In this example, I'm using squeeze page 6. I'll add all my text here, so my attractive header, my bullet points, my graphic about what it is that I'm offering. And any settings that I want to customize here, don't need to worry about those now. And what you will do is you will view this page. And now I can see that I can now send traffic between the original and this variation because this is totally new this shows another example of the kind of squeeze pages you can build in a couple of clicks with uh, optimized press all I had to do is select the template on the side here 
So we can now send traffic between the two, which is known as split testing. If the red variation, which is the current home page, gets more signups, then we will continue to use that. But if this blue lighter version gets more signups, then we'll send more traffic to this page. The aim is to get as many subscribers as you can. So there's two tools to help you do that. First of all is Google Website Optimizer. And you can see that here I ran an experiment. I do have one problem with Google Web Optimizer and that it didn't work for me. Now I have, think I had a very rare case of this problem so I'm just putting this out there. I wasn't actually the data, this is the only data I tracked even though I know I got hundreds of conversions that I was tracking. So this is the reason I also cover Visual Website Optimizer in this video just in case you do come across that same issue. Again you shouldn't but just in case. So first of all you'll click create another experiment or in your case will be create your first experiment and then what you will do is you'll be able to select between A, B a multivariant. Because you're going to be having two pages so you want to split your traffic between two URLs you're going to need to click on the A, B experiment page. Once you're there it's going to tell you to choose the page that you want to test. Uh, you're going to have to create an alternate version of that page like the variation one page that I created over here. Then you're going to identify identify what counts as a conversion. So is it clicking on someone clicking on a link? Is it someone giving you their email address? And then you'll save those settings. So one of my own examples, again, just to show you the kind of data you get, you will see a graph in here, and you'll be able to see how many conversions your page got compared to how many visitors it got. My variation here, I've took this down now, it just wasn't working for me, but you will be able to see a graph here of information. Another tool that I recommend is Visual Website Optimizer. This is a tool I'm a big fan of. It's used by some very big companies, companies I've even talked about in this series, such as Aweber, 99designs, Rackspace, Microsoft, all these big companies are using the split testing service. And basically what it allows you to do is you can, you can visually edit. You don't need to touch any HTML. You can vis visually edit pages on your site. You can create pages. You can split traffic between different URLs, which is what we're going to want to do. Uh, you can test for multiple uh, things, so whether someone subscribes to your email list or buys a product or clicks on a link. It's real time, unlike Google Website Optimizer, which doesn't update. So benefit of GetClicky and this working together is that they're both updating in real time. Uh, you can do very advanced split testing, like just changing slight things on the page. And there's lots more to that. It integrates with Google Analytics and other programs. And just as a quick comparison chart here, it does have a lot more features than Google Website Optimizer. Downside of this is that Visual Website Optimizer does have a price, but I'm still going to show you it anyway. So, once you have an account, you log into the back end here, and first of all, what you want to do is you want to click on Split URL Test. We're going to be sending traffic between multiple URLs and seeing which one gets the most signups. On that page, you're going to enter the test page URL, so maybe something like simpleattractionsecrets.com. Then I'm going to call it squeeze page split test. Once you've done that, you will click on design test and then you'll be taken through a form where you enter your original URL, so simpleattractionsecrets.com, your variation page, so that would be forward slash variation one. In our case, which you can see here in WordPress, the URL here of this new page. I'll put that in a visual website optimizer on the next screen and then it's going to give me some code. So you can again, you can add that code yourself to your static HTML templates, or you can go back here and optimize press and add that code in this box here on the optimize press settings, general settings, this tracking codes footer page, just put the code in there, and you'll have split testing that works on every single page of your website. Google Website Optimizer is free and can be found at google.com forward slash website optimizer. Visual Website Optimizer is a paid tool, but real time and can be found at vibechill.com forward slash vwo. Besides the real-time aspect, I really don't have a personal preference as to which one you use. To give you even more value in this course, I'm going to give you an example of one of my own split tests. So this is a headline I used on one of my squeeze pages. Discover how you can grow your blog to 10,000 plus subscribers in just 12 months. Now that particular headline and that particular squeeze page received a 24% conversion rate. I was getting highly targeted traffic, so that means for every four visitors that landed on my page, one of them would enter their email address. I tested another headline to see which one, if it would help me out, just changed a couple of words, 
discover how this very blog, instead of how you can grow your blog, to 10,000 subscribers in just 12 months. The conversion rate for that headline was 54.2%, almost exactly double. So, now for every two visitors, for every visitor, two visitors that land on my site, sorry, one of them would give me their email address. So, instead of out of 100, I'd now get 50 opt-ins, and out of 100 visitors for the last headline, I would have got 24 opt-ins, and that's a big difference. So there are three main page elements which I recommend that you split test. The first, as you can see from my example, is your headline. Even just a slight tweak in wording can make a massive difference in the number of people who give away their email address. The second element is your opt-in button. After they give you the email address, that little button they have to click on to submit. Changing both the wording of this and the color of it can also have a huge impact. And my final aspect that I recommend you split test is your offer. So I'm not talking about what it is that you're giving it away, I'm talking about in the format that you're giving it away in. So for example, I've seen dramatic results, let's say I want to give away an ebook on gardening, going back to that example, I've seen dramatic results compared to offering a, an ebook about gardening, compared to offering a podcast or a video about gardening. Because even though it's the same information that I want to talk about, often you get a lot more subscribers based on people wanting it in a certain format. So definitely uh, test that out and see how that works for you. So the reason I covered this section before the getting traffic stage is because you can rarely afford to not be testing. Every visitor you receive to your site is a chance to test another page variation which over the long term is going to help you get a lot more subscribers. So the earlier you can implement split testing into your site and this is going to be one of the keys between the people who can make ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month and the people who can make two, three, four thousand dollars a month is how much they really split test their pages. So the earlier they do this, the more variations you can test and the higher converting page you can create. Though I think it's early entrance is crucial, I just didn't want to say this give this information to beginners because I didn't want them to get too overwhelmed. I'm sure as you know, it's tough to get started. That's usually the hardest part. So giving all of this over the top information which is slightly more advanced is uh, I don't really want that to put people off. So now that we've got that video out the way, we should be at the stage where you have your hosting, your domain, your site is up, your niche is decided, you set up your squeeze page, you have Aweber. Wow, this is quite a long list. <laughs> don't worry, we will be going through this in the last video. We now have our split testing in place. We're now going to start getting traffic to the page so we can start getting subscribers that are going to help us make money.